Hi everyone, it's Cheryl Townsley in the kitchen. Have you ever, ever, ever had a dessert just slide right out of your hands into the jaws of the freezer and it wasn't supposed to do that? I don't know how it even happened because this is a spring form pan, but I had my hand underneath the bottom and the bottom just came up. I put it in the freezer it was a sight that no chef, no cook, nobody wants to see. But it tasted too good to throw away, so what was I going to do? Shh, I didn't touch anything on the floor, so I sort of put it all back together with some CPR and a prayer that it might hold together. So it's only been in the freezer now for about two hours, but I have company coming in 15 minutes, a group of women for lunch. So, you know, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. Creative. You have to be creative and play with things. So I always make two desserts when I'm experimenting, just in case one doesn't turn out. We'll get to the blueberry cobbler in a minute. So. Oh my gosh. Blueberry cobbler. Back to you. Yes, yes. We digress. So here is the spring form. What's a spring form? A spring form is one that's it? got a... Um, a little lever over here, it's got a base, and you can pull this lever out, and the cake will supposedly come out. Now, this is typically... Now, wait a second. This is what came out before it was supposed to come out? Oh, yes, it certainly did. Now, this is typically what you use for a cheesecake. So, I'm going to run a knife around here, and we're just going to see what's going to happen. Now, for those of you who know me, you got to know that I never ever do something where I don't know the outcome and I have no idea what's going to happen when I loosen this spring so this, this is live, right? Oh, this is totally <clears throat> live. The only thing I didn't do is take a picture when it was stuck in the freezer. Okay. Hey, hey. Yep. It came out. It's not very level, as you can see. But will anybody care? It's called the Tilting Tower of Pisa. But here's what was so cool about this recipe. I wanted to create sort of a cheesecake recipe with no cream cheese, no nuts, no flour, no refined sugar, and not bake because it's hot in the summer. That's a pretty tall order. Now, you'll have to pay attention this week on the Cheryl Townsley Facebook page, the one you're on, because that's where the recipe is going to go. Because this is another recipe going into the new cookbook, chocolate and everything else. So, since it doesn't look too good yet. How are we going to get it on the plate? Well, but here's what we're going to do. we got to decorate, <laughs> because when you have little flops, decorating takes that all away. So, I have done some whipped coconut cream. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put some dollops. Now, what do you mean whipped coconut cream? I took the white, I chilled my coconut cream. The coconut in the can? Uh-huh, in the can. And I chilled it overnight and just used the white part. The heavy part, the thick part. The thick part. But you know what? If you wanted to, you could use whipping cream. So, you know, again, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So we're just going to kind of play. And I have some organic fresh raspberries, which, you know, red berries and chocolate, well, that just looks heavenly together. So, you know, people are going to forget that it doesn't look quite perfect. Oh, you're using the distractor method. Absolutely the distractor method. I probably should have had an extra two inches of whipped cream on this side, but that's okay. So, and then I just went out to our little herb garden and got some fresh peppermint. And you know, that doesn't look too bad. Now, the real test, okay, looking pretty good. You wanna look at the good side. This is a marbled dessert. So I have a, an amazing coconut crust. And, which, and where's the recipe? It's gonna be on the Cheryl Townsley page this week. So it's a coconut crust. It's my chocolate mousse made a little bit differently, but still with avocado and some whipped cream or whipped coconut cream. And it was swirled. A little bit more than it was supposed to be because it was oh my goodness but what we're going to do is we're going to slice it in real time so we're going to take a plate because today we're using paper plates instead of anything else and we're going to oh my goodness this is scary okay we're going to slice into 
There was a time when you wouldn't have done this. No, definitely not, because we have no idea where the crust is. It could be anywhere in this particular dessert. Chances are it's not at the bottom. Okay, so we have, I think, cut but it. Once it's in your mouth, nobody will care. Nobody will care at all. And I did something I won't do next time, which is I put it some. Be a spatula. Well, that would be a good idea. But, this is looking you know, gross. Okay. No, it's That's working. Not. It's, it's working. working. It's see? working. Let me We're see just here. going to. Let me see in there. See, in there you can see that there really are layers, and there really is. So what you've got is chocolate, you've got whipped cream, coconut, you've got coconut, and there is collagen in the crust. Protein. And we're just going to put is there a any few more this? Is there berries. Any this? Yep, I used our new uh, Vita fiber, so it's a high fiber. So there's almost no sugar in this. That's right, it almost is. none. It's and high fat. we're just going to put, you know, so sometimes it doesn't look perfect, but it's going to taste amazing. 